Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna start um, with an HTML tutorial and I'm gonna do several videos on HTML and how to build HTML documents. Now, um, what, what's an HTML? What is HTML? Well, HTML means hyper text markup language and what HTML is is basically the language you use to build documents which are then viewed by the browser so basically all websites are uh, in HTML thus you can see them by a browser but also uh, pages in the internet or any you can also save HTML pages on your local drive and view them with your browser so basically HTML is a sort of a st structure or, or, or language in which you can um, structure your document because let's say if you write a document in Word only Word the, the application Word can read that document or if you have a document in Excel only Excel can read that document or maybe maybe some similar applications like open office or so on but basically only that type of application can read that document and uh, with HTML any text editor can read it and any browser can parse that HTML and show you uh, what that page is supposed to look like. Now I'm going to start with a with a simple example and then develop more uh, let's say complex examples and I'm going to take it in, in small steps. So I'm not going to do a lot of theory I'm just going to show you how to practically use uh, or build HTML documents. What you need to build uh, for this for these tutorials is basically you need two things one you need a text editor and here you can use any text editor your favorite text editor if you don't have a favorite text editor I would suggest a good text editor and that's called notepad plus plus the website for note notepad plus plus is here it is notepad uh, minus plus minus plus dot org. I've put the link in the in the in the description below the video as well, and you can download that. It's a free application. You can download that uh, uh, text editor. The nice thing about this text editor, it has highlighting, so basically you can read your HTML code much easier. It also is able to uh, handle other programming languages like C and uh, PHP and what have you. So it's a really nifty application. Other than that, what you need is a web browser. Any web browser would do, you know, if you got Chrome, Mozilla, uh, Internet Explorer, Safari, it doesn't matter. Pick your, paper, your favorite uh, web browser and you're, then you're ready to go. So uh, now I went into my notepad uh, and just wrote this text in. And I'm gonna, I've saved it as, uh, I called it TUT tut for tutorial.html so I just created my first uh, HTML document and if I want to see it in my browser I just uh, go to my browser and just reload let me just lower that a bit so you can see it here and I just reload now this is a local file you can see here it starts with with the file that means it's a local file it's not a file on the web and we're gonna work, I'm gonna work with that local file. So you see, it doesn't matter where your HTML file is. It can be locally on your on your computer, or uh, you can then upload that file to the web and it will be visible to everybody. Okay, now you see here. Let me uh, let me let me change that here. You can see it better this way. Yeah, much better. You can see here. I have um, the text here, and I have three lines. And although I have three lines. In the browser, it is all visible as one line because that's because 
in HTML, you have to define your new lines or your line breaks. Uh, just doing a new line like that will not show as a new line on the, in the browser. So if I wanted to have a new line, I would, I would, I would use something like that. That's, that would be your first tag. That would be your smaller than br greater than, meaning break, line break. So I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to get a line break after that. Let's do another line break here. So now I'm expecting to have this as my first line, this as my second line, and this as my third line. See, let's see, I save and I go to my browser and I reload. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong window here. I reload and there you go. And let me just reduce the browser. Now we have a much better, you know, because I don't need that much of a browser. You see, that that's what BR does. It just gives you a line break. Now let's play some more. Let's say I want to have that in bold. Bold tag. Now the bold tag is B and a bold tag. This is open an, op an opening bold tag. That means anything after that tag is bold. Now you've got to limit that from where to where uh, is, is the text supposed to be bold. Well, here it's supposed to end. Well, then I have a closing bold tag. Okay, so let me explain that again. Bold tag comes in pairs and anything between that pair is bold anything outside that pair isn't okay let's save it and reload there you go now that is that text is bold same thing with italics if i want to have if i want to have uh let me let me think uh, an island in italics same thing start tag i and ending tag oops like that okay that's italics and the same thing is uh, with underlining let's say absolutely and there you go and once I real uh, I have to save here you always have to save so those changes are now in the document and then you go to your browser and reload there you go islands is italics absolute is underlined and that is bold all right so these are some basic basic HTML tags which you which you can use another tag we, which we can use is it's the non-breaking space the problem is like that if I have if I want to have something like that uh, the problem is with browsers any any spaces more than one will not be shown let me let me try it out you see those I have here a lot of spaces, but only one space is shown in the browser. Now, how can I get that? Well, there's a tag for that, and that's called non-breaking space. The way you do it is, oops, small p. That's the first one. Let me do another one. Okay, and let me copy them. So I just put in four non-break spaces, okay? And non-break spaces is, is uh, this and, ampersand, NB, SP, and semicolon. And then again, I just put in four of these. Now let me see, does it work? Yes. You see, I already got a bigger gap. Obviously, if I, if I insert some more, my gap is gonna get bigger. So let me just copy those four and insert them again. So I'd have in total eight. Save. And there we go. So you see now, in this tutorial, we've just developed our first HTML document. We use some tags, which are BR for line breaks, bold and close bold for, you know, uh, making text bold. Same thing with italics, same thing with underline. Those three come in pairs. And then we also use the non-break space in order to have, or to, to have multiple spaces uh, in the browser because Doing multiple spaces, you know, normal spaces will not be shown in the browser. Browsers, all browsers, just reduce multiple spaces to one space. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you some uh, more stuff with HTML. I'm going to show you how to really um, uh, structure your HTML document.